What's up, people? Orsa Course here, coming at you with another Rogue Company video. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick rundown on the settings that I'm using and settings that I've tried out. Um, I've turned most of them off and on, uh, low, high, just to see how they look and which ones are uh, beneficial to actually turn down, which ones are not useful. I'm also going to talk about a uh, controller on PC and uh, the keyboard binds and all that because I am using controller sometimes because it's just more comfortable for me. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it and see if I can help you out a little bit. So first of all, we got the screen mode. I run the full screen mode. I think that gives you the best performance for your uh, PC. Um, resolution, I'm running the highest 1600 times 900, but realistically you can go anywhere in this range and probably be fine, even lower if you need to, but my computer is able to handle that. This V-Sync thing is interesting. I've turned it off, I turned it on. It didn't really, I didn't really notice a huge difference on my PC. I would say try it with your PC because I know some people uh, can uh, experience tearing. So if it does that on yours, you definitely <laughs> want to keep that on then because a little bit of performance doesn't um, really help if you're getting tearing at the wrong moment, right? Because this is one of those games where, you know, split seconds decisions can be the big, you know, the big difference. So keep that in mind. Uh, brightness, I put mine at 50%. You can go anywhere between like 50, 60-ish. I wouldn't try to get it too bright because you don't want to get blinded. And I also don't want it, you know, to be too dark. You don't want to be, you know, in darkness. Motion blur, go ahead and just cut that off really motion blur just makes it harder for you to, to hit people in my opinion i don't i don't understand maybe in like single player games it's a little more thematic or something but in this type of competitive sense you don't want this on uh safe frame leave that as is now for me i have all my stuff on ultra right now i've been messing around with a lot of stuff my computer handles it on ultra pretty well but some things that you can live without i'm going to talk about view distance if you can run this run this as high as you can because this is going to give you a competitive uh, advantage if you have a clear more distinct visual at a longer range you are at, a, at an advantage so if you can keep this high keep it high shadows is not as important i've turned this down to low i put it on medium high and i didn't really see a huge difference in it it didn't really affect my gameplay in any way but it does make your computer run a little bit faster if you turn it down so this one if you can live without it go ahead and put that on low uh anti-aliasing uh this one right here is interesting uh basically it's just going to affect the edges of your game or the edges of the, the buildings and stuff like that. The walls. Uh, this one, I would say you can turn this down to like medium high. Um, I don't like it on low because it starts to get like this wavy type effect. I can't really explain it, but keep it above low if you can. Usually you have certain options that you can use here, but they don't really have it in this game. But yeah, if you can run this one higher, run it higher, but definitely it works fine on medium. Textures is another thing that I turned down to low and I didn't really see a huge difference. It didn't really affect me that much. Run that one on medium if it's really, if you're trying to get a little extra bump on your computer. Uh, the visual FX, another one that I ran all the way down to low and I didn't really see any big difference there. So if you are if you can live without that, by all means, go with that. Um, the post -pro uh, processing, I keep this one on uh, high. Uh, apparently if you do turn it down though it it can bump your computer up a little bit when i did it i didn't see a huge difference but it is something to think about you can turn this down all the way to low medium and i didn't see a huge difference you know like uh, the game was fine so another thought here and foliage you can definitely turn this down to low and you won't be hurting at all so in my opinion the only one of these that you really need to keep high if you if you can Maybe anti-aliasing, you can keep a little high, and then the view distance. Those are the two that I think are really important here to rest. You can kind of live without. Uh, when it comes to audio, I keep the master volume pretty high. You can turn this down a little bit. I have the Krakens, and they, they are really good at sound, so sometimes I will drop this down a little bit. Um, music, I cut that down simply because you don't want your music to be so loud to where you can't hear vital things in the game. Good thing about this game is you don't have to turn the music all the way down because the stomping is so loud in this game, right? Especially if somebody isn't running, um, you know, padded step or something. But you can hear people pretty well. I keep the sound effects pretty high. You can turn it down a little bit if you need to. And voice chat, I keep pretty uh, at about 70 uh, because some people, they have potato mics or they come in screaming, you know. So this right here is up to you. Uh, as far as controls go, I've kept my controls pretty pretty standard on pc i didn't really do a whole lot to it uh ads mode make sure to keep that uh, as there uh these keep resetting though these are actually up to 50. i don't know why they keep resetting but i'll go do it again i turned this up to i think 4.5 so but that with the sensitivities make sure that you're doing a sensitivity that you are comfortable with you know whatever mine is is what mine is but do one that you're comfortable with 
um for a controller my sensitivity is five and five uh, the reason for that i play more on controller uh, on controller than mouse and keyboard but you want to make sure that you're able to you know actually turn around and respond in a in a decent time frame but you also don't want to have your sensitivity up so high where you can't track and you know aim at people so you want to have that that fine balance so same here uh i keep the ads sensitivity at about 50. uh some people can go higher than that and still be able to track fairly well i can't It'll be something that I'll have to practice at. So again, it's up to your preference. Uh, these right here, I would keep as is. Uh, ADS mode, like I say, hold, leave it like that. Um, I don't know why you would use any of the other ones. Um, the rest of these are fine. Vibrations, make sure this one's optional. I say turn it off because vibrations don't really do anything. This isn't, you know, 2000, right? Where vibration was a big deal. Now it's kind of old, outdated. It's not going to give you any type of boost or perk right so i would say just leave that off um uh, the reload all this leave this as is right here all that is fine and then we're not going to mess with this stuff down here next up we have the bindings like i said my bindings and stuff i've pretty much left alone um for pc i feel like i don't play pc enough to where the bind like the standard bindings really bother me too much so i left this stuff just as is uh, and for the controller the controller binds are very standard. I just plugged in my controller to my uh, PC and it just put up a standard pretty much um, uh, key binds. Now, the only thing that I might change with controller is maybe the, the crouch and the uh, dodge roll, maybe, because crouch is R3, dodge roll is O, I think. So maybe I would swap those around, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty fine. And I've been working with it for the last week or so and it's been good. Um, gameplay, I wouldn't change any of this. Uh, I think this is all fine. You want to have those um, damage numbers been dis uh, displayed just because you want to know how much damage you're actually doing because that's going to decide if you push, if you hold back, like, you know, that, that's going to inform your decisions. Uh, the accumulative display, I haven't put that one on. Um, yeah, I don't think I would use that one. And then the outline enemies, I really like that. Uh, I don't see why you wouldn't put that on. It's very good um socials uh, make sure that you go the region that's going to give you the best uh actual connection give you the best uh advantage right you don't want to go to a region that you can't actually play on or that you're going to be lagging on so for me it's america west or north america west so that's what i'm running and then text chat i keep that on you can turn this on though if people are being you know silly or whatever um but yeah it's up to you um that's pretty much it people this is a short video i just want to go over some of the bindings and some of the settings that i've played around with um if this helped you at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Rogue Company content, and uh, let me know uh, what settings and bindings that you're running that seem helpful for you. This is Orsa Course. We'll see you in the next video or live stream. Peace, 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 peace.